It's time for ATG Weekly with your hosts, Bonnie and Mo. I think so. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's a new one. Been Stubby Clap, been Dicky Moles, I think, a couple times. Weird names, pick them out. ATG Weekly, we're jumping right into it this week. Yeah, I'm trying to sort this so I don't see the MVP yet, because I haven't seen the award winners. Oh, yeah. It award will. winners? Award, we're doing the awards. We're kicking this episode off hot. Obviously, with awards. This is the intro, and we're, we're standing. <laughs> serious. Playoffs are going. Yes. A little glance at that. Mm -hmm. First round's over. Mm -hmm. We've advanced to the middle semifinal. Yeah, our champ the championship series. We got Jordan yes. versus the Burbs. Is that right? Yeah, I think. And, and then Kevin versus Professor. Padres, Rays, Cubs, Rangers. Strangers. Winner of those two series face each other in the ATG Cup. Yes, that's threes. We are here to talk about the awards. Yeah. The uh, ATG Riders Association and we managers and etc. decided to release the award before the championship. Do we just hop right on into this? I yeah. Hopping like a bunny rabbit. Starting off. What is the first award? The before? Kevin Gossman Award, as mentioned before, is our reliever of the year. Reliever. Relief pitcher of the year award. There was a lot of that was a close one, I believe, if you looked at stats. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good guys. That had good years. I don't, know, I, don't I don't know if they're good guys or not. They might be. They might be assholes. Uh, they could be. There was like ten guys listed on the ballot. Josh Stalmont is your winner. Is your winner? Um, okay. Twenty-four. Points for it? Twenty-four points. Twenty-four points. Total. Twenty-four points. Josh Stalmont. 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 Of See, the Tampa Bay Stalmont. Rays, managed by Professor Bird. Mm -hmm. Professor Mike, not Bird Mike. Uh, the top three, the guys who had double digit points, those are, I'm just going to read those here. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Cordero came in second with White 17 Sox. points. White Sox with Colin. And Liam Hendricks fell to the third spot with 10 total points. The gravy chief A's. So how, with the points, how many, like, how many votes? For that, it was first place with five points, second place first third, third place. Okay. Second place first, th bleh, worth three, third place one. Five, three, one. All right, so we kick it down to the Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year. The, I mean, the award awarded to the league's top rookie. Yeah, and we had some good, true rookies this year. Yeah, they had to be rookies that were actually rookies this season, considered rookies. Rookie um, eligibility in real life. Some really good names. Uh, <laughs> this one was, I mean... It was obvious, I think. He blew it out. Nick Solak of the Rangers. The second baseman. 43 points total with Jesus Lazardo in second with 18 points. And the A's golden boy, Nate Pearson, in third. He was an A. With 16 points. Nate Pearson finished. He was an A, not a Padre. Was not a, a Padre. Not a Padre. The people loved him. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. He didn't have the best year. Mm -hmm. The folks rallied around him. Yeah. Congratulations Chris to Luis Robert, fourth with only nine. That's cool. Congratulations to Nick Solak, yeah. the Rangers. Had a hit four, just finished like second, I think, in the batting, batting race. Behind I believe so. He hit 480. Well over. Yeah. I just missed it by five. And oh. the next award. The next award, which officially has a name. Yeah. It works. Our s pitcher of the year. The Satchel Page Award. Goes to. It's a tie. Whoa! What? Oh, this is this, this is, is a, a first. This is a first. First time we've ever had a tie um, for an award in ATP. So does this mean co-winners? Unless they battle it to the death. 
This is Satchel Page Award. Co winners. Co winners. That's how it works out. That's how they do it. In Garrett Richards and Jesus Lazardo. Jesus Lazardo. Garrett Richards of the Padres. Uh, rookie pitcher. Jesus Lazardo of the A's. Congratulations. Wow. Who finished third in that? Um, well, they Chris able. Sale is in the second spot. Yeah, second spot. Um, yeah. With seven points. Richards and Lazardo. Both had 27. Eight up points, yeah. Um, Blake Snell came in third with six, and then two guys had five, and then four. But, um, yeah, that's a first. Yeah, that's cool. It's in the league history. Let's so, get on to the, it is, yeah. the Stansberry Award. Let's get on to the big one, the Daryl Stansberry. Most Valuable Player Award. Player of the Year. Offensive Player of the Year. Yes. Pitchers Wait, aren't included. No. It's just the best overall player. Yeah. Not that most valuable, like to his team, just the overall. That, whoever was the best in the league. People voted for the playoffs best. Playoffs don't matter in this. Best in the league had some big years out of guys. Yeah. The it, Stansberry Award of season three goes to the Rangers' Joey Gallo. Gallo with sixty-nine and twenty points. Pretty much every ballot with a ton of first place votes. I don't think I have any first place votes on that. Anyway, Joey Gallo yeah. had the uh, set a record for runs. In a shortened season, came just short of the home run record, yeah. 17. Just, just unreal. Absolute destruction. Danny Santana came in second place, 40 points. Ooh. Fernando Tatis Jr. Ooh. came in third with 37. Kids love him. He had some clutch moments. Rookie of the Year, I mean, there's other names in here. Uh, Rookie of the Year winner Nick Solak came in eighth place with five votes. That's the, there's the whole list right there. And um, right in, the, looks like the right in votes that cracked the top ten were Hunter Dozier and Tim LeCastro with a yeah. vote apiece. But, um, yeah, oh. that's Gallo was pretty much, I think, surefire winner, and he's one. Congratulations. So, so we had your Gosman winner, yes. Josh Stama of Tampa. Rookie, Rookie of the, of the year, year, Nick Solak of the Rangers. Pitcher of the year, a tie, yeah. Garrett Richards. Jesus Lazardo. And your most valuable player, Stansbury Award winner, Joey the Gallo. mighty Joey Gallo. Excellent. That's, yeah. Excellent. We work. actually have more. More what? We have our all league team. Oh. Want to take a break? We can take a break. We'll take a break. We'll, we'll come back with all league. We'll come back commercial. Enjoy this. Mm. I'm Bill Dwyer. Alongside me, the professor, Matt Vaskersian. Up ahead, plenty of MLB 2000 action. In Boston, we'll see Kenny Loft and Rob Garcia Perro worse than the IRS. You want receipts? I got receipts. In Cincinnati, Greg Maddox, ninth inning, sit down and shut up. In New York, Jorge Posada finds out what it feels like to be an unlucky animal taking a dirt nap on the Jersey Turnpike. These highlights, plus Travis Lee, A-Rod, and the Rocket coming right up. We have returned from that lovely ad break. That was a good commercial. And it is time for the 2020 Season 3 All, All League, League Team announcement. Starting it off with the catcher. Representing the Tampa Bay Rays is Reese McGuire. Snuck in there. Hit over 400. He's one of those. We had several. Sneaky. Didn't, yeah. I think uh, the professor picked him up in a trade mid-season-ish before the deadline, and he's one of those guys that hit like crazy. Edged out some other guys. Barnhart, Perez. At he's first base, we have Danny Santana of the Rangers. I think that's an obvious choice. Yeah. He was playing at first. This second year. base is also a pretty obvious one. Rookie of the year, Ranger Nick Solak. That's your second baseman, Nick Solak. Nolan Arenado from the Colorado Rockies is your all-league third baseman. Fernando Tatis Jr. of the Padres is your all-league shortstop. Mr. And, Excitement. Yes, and your outfield, Nick Castellanos of the White Sox. Austin Meadows of the Rays, 
and the Stansberry Award winner, Joey Gallo, the Rangers. Starting pitchers, normally we only name one. One. No righty left hand. One, one starter, one reliever. We'll get on with it, but we have the tie this year. We have the tie. And that's Garrett Richards and Luzardo. And then the reliever, the one reliever, is your Gossman Award winner, Josh Stalman. Josh Stalman. Those were the Tampa Bay Rays. The All League team was chosen with, we punched it into the computer. Mm -hmm. Stat um, department. Stat department. Really good job over here. And looked at the votes they got. And um, one thing I know about Castellanos, he, he raked with the Reds before he got traded. So it'll be interesting to see the stats are gone now. Yeah. We moved on how many, what he did between wow. the two teams. Doesn't matter. Though. Yeah. But, um, That's one thing I noticed with the game, too, that I wish it kept it all under one thing. But. Yeah, the stats disappear. Yeah, whatever. Online, what's it called? The shoot custom leagues. Custom leagues. Yeah, it's not. A, they didn't. They made sure not to put their franchise title in there. Yeah. All right, that was your all league team. Congratulations. Yes. All those winners. You check them in the mail, or unless you have direct deposit. You should show yeah. up. You should post. You get your award bonus. Should post um, by Monday at midnight. I don't think that guy thought it was going to rain. He's walking, he's walking back. His uh, shirt, shirt looks like that lime shirt. Tasty. Anyway. Tasty. And we are here again from the parking lot of Super Target. Live from Target. We we found cards. Found some cards. Not just any cards. Target. Clinical deodorant for Lori. We're not cracking this, but Target Ooh, has complete sets. $49.99. Found it. It's yeah. looking, it's been like $69.99. Everywhere else. Everywhere else and on websites and nerds buying up all the cards. So Ooh. the little kids, little 47 year old and 18 year old kids. Yeah can't get their cards but we found they had one pack yeah of tops fire tops fire what is that what's acuna acuna jr ronald we're gonna crack we're gonna this crack was this one this was freaking six dollars for a one pack that's crazy yeah. but fire is usually we're gonna split them up crazy looking throw that shit back there it's raining. It's raining. It's it is getting ass off. All right. All right. Um, well, that's a nice looking card, actually. We got crazy looking. Nick Ahmed. It's my um, first one. We got some weird fiery space looking yeah. blue Michael Kopech. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if he'll ever play again. Um, yeah, they're all like in some kind of. It's like they're up above. I don't know, it's like a planet, or it's like some shit right out of the 90s. Eugenio Suarez. We got another blue, Matt Boyd. These are actually kind of decent looking compared to some of the yeah. past ones. We got yeah. a Trey Turner. That's cool. I know. For Jordan, we got a Flaherty. Flaherty. Throwing heat. There's the back of the car. It's just got... Just kind of... Blair, can't really see it. Talks about him. We have an Alex Cobb. I didn't know he was still playing. Looks like they, I don't know, Baltimore. these aren't inserts. They've just got different style borders. There's a Freddie Freeman. And then what is that? I got a blue Power and Pride, uh, Rossiel Iglesias. Blue got tinted. A funky. Dominican flag. Anthony Rizzo. That's, that's it. Anybody that's else? A, Nothing? No. All Gonna, right. Yeah. No big, no rooks. No. That was 2020 Tops Fire. Tops Fire. There you go. Dun 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 dun. It's a good week. Yeah, welcome back. Um, playoffs are going. There might be games being played right now. You look like a college student. I'm a PowerPoint. Got to do a PowerPoint. Whip this episode out. Um, I got a 100 on one of my essays. 100 on an essay? Yeah. That's pretty well, cool. 30 out of 30. That's oh, cool. That's cool. The other one was 
28 out of 30, because I didn't talk completely about... 28 out of 30? Uh-huh. Because I didn't, I didn't completely talk about the, uh, how Pericles completed democracy. Yeah, what about Testicles? Testicles? I don't know. There's a dude in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, <laughs> I think, because there was, like, these gladiators that you could go fight around the Greece, because you're in Greece in that. Yeah. And, like, if you committed enough, like, killings or something, there'd be a bounty on your head. Right. I think there was a dude, because they'd add him occasionally. Pretty sure there was one named that. Named Testicles. Yes. Nice. I can verify that later. Balls. Just, can you imagine? That's the guy who kills you. That would be crazy. Sunday. You got shit Sunday, due Sunday, at midnight. Sunday. Sunday. PowerPoint. Sunday. Finish up the editing. Sunday. Sunday. You do your PowerPoint. Sunday. Sunday celebration. Your mother and I just got back from Metro Diner. Mm. Ooh, it was good. Yeah. Had a club sandwich. 10.30. We were out of there by 11. Lunch. Been up since 4. On my day off. It's freaking weird behavior. I just took a guess that we weren't going to work anymore. I didn't set an alarm. That's all right. I was like, I don't want to. I'm a brain. <sighs> so your mother and I held did my sermon <clears throat> the Metro Diner. Because you know <clears throat> that I'm an ordained minister. Sunday is all about worship. Worship of these delicious layers of bread and bacon and ham, and turkey. Testify! Are you playing that now? All right, get it going. Oh shit, you are playing it. That's pretty cool. Oh! All right. I can hear that, that gospel music coming in. So weekly. Um, no more no more pancake, no more sugar and rice, <laughs> no more beef steak, no more maple syrup, no more strawberry jam, no more gravy. I love gravy.